Who's introing? I don't know. I'll do it. Okay. Do you have anything, like, exciting to say to, like, kind of break in the theme for this episode? What do you mean? Well, like, you know, every single episode, it kind of has this, like, weird title thing, like, the the the, the whole theme of the episode, the kind of, you know, the No, nah, I don't have anything interesting. Hey, welcome back to Loser's Play. Shit. Um, last time Zach got his ass kicked by this Yeti. That's not giving you enough credit. You got, you killed two bosses. In the last episode, so you're doing pretty good. Uh, but all in total, we we as a unit killed, killed three. Three bosses, three bosses died good. last good. episode. You killed two of them. Um, ooh, just a little too far away. I mean, you're I wish I could right take pace. him down with me. You know, that's the thing. That what I want to see is I want to die, but I want to see. You want to suicide pact the oh, Yeti? Oh yes, I do. I want to. I want to murder him. Yeah, I don't care. I don't even care. Do you think? I me, bet but. you there's at least one erotic novel out there that's like a suicide pact with Bigfoot. That's actually. Let me back up. With there Bigfoot. are erotic novels about Bigfoot, and there's like a lot of them. Ha, have you read any? No, what but they ads for them get. Shown ads? to me, and also like people like on, on YouTube, I think people on TikTok ads. Just, <laughs> yeah, it's like not. I don't even know if they're visual ads, but they're just like there's like. It's me. It's me and big Bigfoot baby. Um, you know, it's truly what they say. He's wild in every sense of the word. And it's like whoa. What let me pull the, up. Let me let me let me, hell, let me Google Bigfoot erotica real quick. What the hell is this like? Jamie, pull up Bigfoot erotica. I don't. That doesn't sound like Joe Rogan. That's what. That's oh, who it is, right? I did his left leg. Um, Jan Bigfoot. Hey, Jamie, books. Could, uh, you could fucking um, uh, uh, pull up Bigfoot. <laughs> that's that's what Joe Rogan sounds like. Uh, Jamie, can you pull up Bigfoot? I don't. <laughs> Breeding with Bigfoot, a smutty fantasy romance, Kindle edition. That's yeah. on Amazon. Seduced by Bigfoot and ravaged by the Yeti, the secret adventure of a fertile housewife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is free. This is free on audio. Free on audiobook. Oh, Who's reading this? On audio, but so Who's reading this like out loud? A, it's like a. Is it serious as well? Is this a serious? The Hunt for Bigfoot, no. a novel of adventure and romance in the North Woods. This and feels comedic. The cover in art is the least sexy. Come for Bigfoot, Volume Three. Because I I'm, books eleven through sixteen. I know, like I know about. Bigfoot content. Alone I, with a female Bigfoot. Cryptid romance. A female Bigfoot? I feel like Bigfoot isn't even the sexiest cryptid. Uh, what are you, like a chupacabra kind of individual? Or? Nessie gets me going. Mm, I just want to have sex with the entire back rooms, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's fair. Yeah, I just want to with the walls. Nessie gets me going emotionally. I feel Not sexually. I, I think Nessie I think Nessie would be a caring lover. Nessie is a Nessie Nessie has a, a very private lifestyle. I think you know? Nessie would contribute to a kind and welcoming homestead. And that hump as well. <laughs> that hump. That hump. Everyone loves a hump. No, I mean Nessie's cool because Nessie has like an entire community of people. Um that Nessie supports and cares for and loves the Scots, the, the Scottish people. Yeah. Um, oh man, other cryptids that seem sexual or um, you know like interesting. A lot of people, a lot of people love Mothman. A lot of people love Mothman. Mothman. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. He lights up my <laughs> life. I light up his. Yeah, hey. cool. Yeah, good job, buddy. <laughs> that's, I don't yeah. know why you're giving me that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, good job. Oh, very nice. Yeah, no, that's super smart that you came up with super, Mothman. Super, super Fucking good. Ed. <laughs> Fucking douchebag. Oh. All right, I, I, here's my idea for how I'm going to deal with this Yeti. So I am going to start off, I'm going to angle myself this way. And, you're and gonna then bounce I'm going to bounce it. Yep. <laughs> I saw that coming from a mile away. I was like, that's not going to bounce the way Zach wants it to bounce. I'm so mad right now. Hey dude, hey dude, hey dude, hey dude. I think you almost got it. I think. I think all you gotta do is shoot him. So the problem is that his butt isn't facing you. No. I think that's issue numero uno. Hey, look out. Oh man. <laughs> I love. That's I love so that they keep attacking the dead body. I do it, too. It really does entertain me. It, it is. 
the extra, it is the cherry on top of the, the boss rush pie. Um, <laughs> Where it's um, like, you're dead and they're still angry and they're still going to just destroy your dead body. I am starting to notice that like the bosses that tend to be killing me are the ones where I got to hit them in the ass. Yeah. I'm, um, you're, I'm, you, when it comes to butt stuff, you, you underperform. And that's a hard thing to kind of grapple with. It's a hard truth to kind of realize about myself. And I hope that I can be better. Um, you know but, what? But um, I you hope know. you can be better too. Hey, look out. You doing all right? You need a break? <laughs> Okay. How'd you make that noise? It's just. Oh my god, you could do that? Only on the small ones. Oh! Yeah, hey, look at that. What? I feel better now. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. Yeah. We're, we're so back. back. Whoa. We're back in Whoa, it. what are you doing over there? Hey! Oh, uh, Leo's freaking out. Stop scraping the carpet, here. you silly bitch. No, hey, that doesn't mean ignore me and keep doing it. Hello? He's got one of his paws on my like little joystick mm -hmm. arcade game for, that I have from when I was a kid. It looks like he's playing it. He's a Pac-Man dog. He likes Galaga. Pac-Man. Everything in between. <laughs> Everything in between Galaga and Pac-Man, which is um. Dig Dug. <laughs> Dig Dug. I fucking love Dig hey, look Dug. Out. It's got to be the best like arcade style game. I'm trying to think what. I mean, like, whoa, 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 let's play foul, oh, yawning on that. Mike. You can't be doing that. You can't be doing that. Whoa. It's not like it's 2.30 a.m. or something. <laughs> um, I, I love, a, I love, a, I love a, a Conky Dong. I love a Donkey Kong's Big Adventure. That was a pretty fun arcade game. What other arcade games are there? I don't know. I don't play. I guess I didn't play a lot of, I guess, like that era of arcade games, mainly because I was um, not conceived. Uh, I was not brought into this world until the towers fell. So, <laughs> were you born after 9/11? Yeah, I was born 13 days after 9/11. It was you an omen. You were born 13 days after 9/11. Yeah, it was absolutely an omen. That's insane. That's crazy to think about. How damn? Hit his ankle. Silly, you're not supposed to hit the, the ankle. Fuck? You're supposed to hit what the butt. The fuck? <laughs> Do you want? Do you want fuck? me to give it a moment? What the fuck? No way. I ha I think I figured it out. Yeah. I think I did figure it out. I think I I think I just saw the moment that it needs to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and I and I feel like an idiot for not really noticing before. Yeah, of course it's that, bud. I'm a fucking of course dumbass. It's that. I'm a dumbass. I told you I'm to do that. I'm an actual dumbass. <laughs> I'm an actual <laughs> idiot. I told you to do that. You kept being like, I gotta pull it in. I was like, I don't uh, think you do. Uh, <laughs> I really uh, don't think you do. <laughs> Uh, ah. Didn't spend the full episode on it though, so that's a win. Did we? Didn't. Didn't. Oh, okay. I think we're like we're like eight minutes in. I think. We're like eight minutes. I think All we. Right, cool. I think we still got like twelve minutes in the episode. Cool. Or something. Cool. Uh, this is giving me a second wind on this whole episode. You know what? What the hell is up this way? Let's find I, out. I'm seeing. I'm seeing some stuff going on up here. And some um, things. It looks like. If I ever. I already did the one up in the. In the yeah, middle. you did that one. I did that one. That was the one with the teeth. That was the one that you, uh, yes. you dermatologied. Yes. 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 Now this is this is just a little playground. Whoa. For secret. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. It's a secret tunnel. Whoa. Oh. What does that mean? Lore. I don't know. This game has like lore. <laughs> Anger. <laughs> uh, I just didn't know, you know, maybe I shoot that note. I think maybe. that's uh, the moment I become enlightened. Um, is it was, what that uh, was? What I was looking at right there, yeah. It seemed to be. Dude, I love the, oh, is this like Scottish, Irish? I think it's like kind of a Scottish Just this, sound this instrument, it. the. Yeah. Pandolin? It might just be a violin. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to make any. 
broad statements about it, yeah or, Irish. or claims i don't know i don't know scottish sounds scottish i don't know it does have that kind of uh inch instra instrumental it's folksy to it. it's a little folksy i like a good folksy uh kind of sound um the the sort of like nature uh esque sound it's weird that the people in the world who kind of live so uh, connected to nature and in a lot of places end up being the most bigoted in their own ways. Um, I guess probably because they just don't interact with most people, but you just think like, you know, I don't know. Every time I spend time in nature, I'm like, I feel just this sense of like connection to the earth. Are you talking to a lot of nomads that are racist? What are you talking about? No, I'm just talking about people who live in the country, people who live oh, out you mean, in the yeah, like in the in the 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 wilderness, the wider world and everything. When you say the wilderness, you mean like like just country. Yeah, in the country. Yeah, I mean like that's that's more due to like infrastructure and education and targeted political shit. But yeah, yeah, it's just weird because I don't know. I again like you spend some time out in the world and and everything and and I don't know, in my perspective, I I always feel just this sense of connection to nature, connection to the to just humans, biology around me and I feel and, connected to your mom. Anyway, um we're actually wait, listen. It's my favorite song in the game. Is this Lost Woods? Sorry? It's like Lost Woods. No, it's just my favorite song in the game. What's up this way? It said that there wasn't a boss this way. Something behind the waterfall, there always it. No, nope, you look like an idiot okay. now. But there is like a cool path. Kind of path there, yeah. It is Lost Woods. Perhaps. I'm lost in the woods. You're lost in the woods. Ain't that crazy? Uh. Uh. Just go whichever path. Hey, you did uh, it. Uh, what? Okay. You got you got one of the paths. Okay, I got one of them. I guess it. What? This one's a fun boss. Okay. I like this song as well. Oh. I like all the songs. I don't know why. I don't. I don't know why I'm specifying that. Uh oh. Oh, I'm uh -oh. tripping out I'm on drugs. I'm on drugs super hardcore. They must have been making. They must have been on drugs this when they made been this. On drugs. What, do, what drugs do you think they were on when they made this? Good shit. That's easy. First try. Yeah, I know how to do drugs. I'm experienced. What kind of drugs? Were I saw a tweet the other day that was like, God, they must have been on drugs when they were making this. Or it was something like that, but it was about Barry. I was like, God, I hate, I hate. Barry of all shows. I hate you know, like... when people who are boring interact with creatives with media that's on any level surreal it's like I, I know, what drugs were they on when they made this and then it's like fucking chowder <laughs> <laughs> uh, which like actually you know what that one made chowder might, that one they might have been actually might have been. i you know i don't know you see shit like spongebob too and you're like it is a weird kind of concept there's some things there's some aspects of it but for the most part it it is just funny I, you know it's kind of surprising like i don't know i feel like I think most creatives are kind of drawn to substances just to at least try them and I mean maybe but I don't I it's just funny when people are like nice um good shit um I don't know, I just, it, it always makes me laugh I'm like what drugs were they on when they made this like none <laughs> it <laughs> they is just I don't know they just thought of shit it is the most like that's the most like my my parents would say that shit kind of thing yeah I like to like I, I like this know. one too. I like the design of this one. Oh. This one's got a cool looking design. Dude, this is straight Boy, up like a like a Zelda Four Swords boss with these tentacles. Everything's Zelda with you, isn't it? I know. It's because it's, I don't know. There's a whenever you come to these like top down sort of games. It, whenever you do what to them? Whenever you come on these top down games, uh, there's a there's a, a lot of influence that you can kind of drive from that. You you can see. Uh, the the way that that things kind of uh, affect each other and, and everything. You know what's actually gonna blow your mind? Oh, what's that? Uh, this actually that was cool. This came out before the first Zelda game actually. 
So this was kind of like, like Shut Zelda kind of like took a lot of inspiration from this. Shut up. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Shut up. Are you talking? Shut There's up. no way. Yeah. Okay, you've convinced me. <laughs> <laughs> I have no reason to believe you're lying. <laughs> you are my friend. You wouldn't you peddle friend. falsehoods you wouldn't to me. Hurt me huh? <laughs> you wouldn't peddle snake oil to me, would you now, Colin? <laughs> You put it in the fucking front hole. You, I mean, first I think you gotta do a little bit of geometry in your head. I don't know any geometry. So if if those arms are spinning on an axis from a central point, and they're moving too fast for you to avoid on the farthest outside point, would there be less space to travel closer inwards? Ah, uh, ah. Uh... You're smart, you're smart, you're smart, you're smart. You you can actually also just stay out there, but if you just hug the walls, they kind of just don't hit you. <laughs> uh. Oh. Oh, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Oh, no. Oh no, he closed up shop. Uh oh, come back tomorrow. Come on, suck it, suck it, suck it, suck sorry? it. Sorry? Whoa. Suck it. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry <laughs> that I suggested that you suck it. My bad, my bad, my fault. That's my, that's, that's MB, MB, MB. Major League Baseball! You forgot that. Yeah, ma Major Baseball. Uh oh. Yeah. Come on! You're just holding on to it for a really long time. No, I know. It's because I want to make sure that it gets shot. Well, the problem is it's not getting oh. shot. Ooh. I feel just very hug its purple face. right now. I feel Kiss very him. purple. Oh, you got to shoot it. Well, you, what do you mean I got to shoot it? You said shoot it fast, and I didn't. But you didn't what? shoot it is the problem. Colin is over... Th do you over have the arrow? Throwing. I don't think you have the arrow. Do not. I do not have the arrow. Yeah. Okay. There it is. There you go. Yeah. Ooh, I can't believe you're alive. Huh? Oh, I have the arrow? <laughs> what are you I doing? didn't know! <laughs> I didn't know! Oh, yeah, I think I gotta back up, too, because it looks like I can't get on top of that leaf. You don't have to back up. I gotta back up. Oh, okay. I take that shot. I got one shot, one opportunity. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna miss it. <laughs> that one boss I told you what to do, and you're like, no, nah, I gotta <laughs> suck it, and finally do it, and it works. Mm -hmm. And this one, you're like, no, I know. I, I, no, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries, no worries, no worries. No, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. No worries, no worries. No worries at all. Uh, I do appreciate the geometry tip, though. Yeah, uh, I it's. Really I will think say about that is, and I play Mario Kart too. That's kind of the whole idea. That's kind of the yeah, whole is, is methodology. That some is paths are shorter than others. Take, take the, sh take the inner path. You know, that's that's Mario Kart. Yeah. I will say. Um, just to make your life easier, you can actually, I mean, it's, if you stay in one place, the poison cloud's gonna get you, but you can actually just go into, like, kind of one of those corners, and the tendrils won't really hit you. Like, at the farthest point of the room, kind of like the, the vertexes of the octagon. I think, like, right there. Yeah. It's speed run techniques. I don't do that. Or just kind of lazy techniques. No way, no way. No way. But then, yeah, if you stay there, then the poison cloud goes to you. It will go to me, but that's okay. Well, I don't know why you're going there now. He's not moving anymore. It's more when the vines are doing the thing. You, you left when you needed to actually get in there. <laughs> I feel like you oh, got to back up. This is why Colin plays the game most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> It flashback to fucking me spending like 10 minutes of one of the fucking Mario Odyssey episodes. Oh, he hit me with a tip. <laughs> flashback to me playing fucking Mario Odyssey and just missing a jump like for 10 <laughs> minutes straight. I just sit there so patiently. <laughs> oh, you'll get it. Do you think maybe we should move on? No? Okay, I'll wait. And then you're playing a game that I like practiced a lot and not doing exactly perfect in a game that's known for being hard. I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking dumbass. <laughs> stupid moron. I hope you die in your sleep tonight because of how stupidly you're playing the video game. It's a very peaceful way to go. Thank you. You know? I hope you're afraid when it happens. I'm, I'm not. Oh, <laughs> I am not afraid now. I'm not afraid. I'm good. I'll be all right. I'll make it.
There you go. Woo! And just in time yep. to end the episode. Good shit. Open her up. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve bosses dead? You're doing a lot more counting than I ever could, but sure. Yeah. Go for that. I think that there's, I want to say there's 16 in total before you get to the end game. Um, I do think you've killed enough bosses that you could just go fight the final boss. Um, but who knows? Maybe we'll 100% it. We'll find out on the next episode of Loser's Play. See you then. Or not. We, you might not. You might. You, the viewer, might die before you see the next episode. And we'll mourn you. It'll be painless. <laughs>